Hi guys, welcome Hi guys. back. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Everybody, thank God for this. Everybody in this room is in a really good mood today. Everyone in this room is in a kind of like it's wild it's fucked how up. And it's, we are so positive right now. We are positive. Um and we are radiating. We're radiating. Good vibes. And we just have to, you know, be present with it because as we all know, life throws us hurdles and Within a couple of hours, we're probably all going to be in bad moods again. It's actually and something terrible will happen to one of us. Oh, completely! Something's you can gonna count fucking on fall it. apart. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, honestly, but right now, ten out of ten. At four oh five, the second we walk out of the studio, something catastrophic emotionally is going to happen. You, but yeah, who knows? But as of right now, I think everybody in this room is in a good mood. Lee, are you in a good mood? I'm in a great mood. You're in a great. Are you in a good mood? Honk, I'm in a great mood. I'm are in a you great in a good mood. mood? <laughs> we all did a bunch of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> we all relapsed. You guys, we all had an emotional relapse. We're I texted all involved. Every Every single act I've ever had, I'm buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing how, yeah, that um that reminded me of when a couple of years ago, like the, I think it was the Halloween before I got sober, and I was fucking wasted and so just like wait the one in 2019 with you, you, yes, me, and our our night, yes, and I was like trying to text all of my exes because I was so drunk. And you were dressed up as a clown. And I was dressed up as a fucking clown, and I was dressed up as <laughs> slutty Greta Thunberg. And I call Craig. Fucking, you know, my boy Craig, who's my ex-boyfriend, but who's like, whatever, fuck it. Like, he's my friend now. Um, And I call Craig and I'm like, you want to hook up? And he was like, absolutely fucking please don't come over. Because he had like a new girlfriend who was at his place. And I was like, I'm going to come over. And he was like, please, please, please do not show up at my place. <laughs> and I was like, mm, you never know. I cried outside of... um. No, Los yeah. Taco, whatever. What the fuck is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tacos. Uh, Tacos Delta. No, that's, no, that's in Silver Lake. I, I know exactly what you're talking you about. You know what? I'm, it's across so the Surly Goat. I yeah. cried outside of there, and just I went was Greta. Home. Yeah, you're just as Greta. I, I was just as, as a Greta. Clown. I was trying to fuck my ex that I don't I, that I you couldn't pay me to fuck now, and that's that's on that. I was pretending that I wasn't going to go fuck the ex. I inevitably started fucking the next month but God, and it. that's on halloween and that's on halloween but you want to know what those were bad vibes i don't know why we just brought that up yeah, yeah, okay, good yeah, vibes. <laughs> and so i immediately brought the good vibes down with bringing up horrific old memories well, because you want to know why because right now things are so good things it's foreign good. to us it's foreign to us yeah so we have to find something to bring it back down i ha got a keratin treatment yesterday um in my hair which means it's a chemical straightener they put literal formaldehyde in your hair and I have to keep it stays stick straight for 48 hours. So I can't wash it. And it's to keep your hair like smooth. So when I get out of the shower, I it don't doesn't look to... like a bird's nest. Yeah, right, right, right. Because I have curly, big, frizzy hair, sick of dealing with anyway. It just keratin keeps your hair nice. Um, anyway, got in my eye yesterday. I'm going to keep these fucking glasses on because my eye is beet red. I can feel like my eyeball scabbing. Um, you are trying to beat the pink eye allegations. Right. And you want to know what? We're going to keep vibes high. We're going to keep our fingers crossed. Please shit in my eye <laughs> yesterday. And here's the thing. I'm just glad it wasn't in his toilet for once. Honestly, I don't care well, where it is. Well, what's weird is that it's, that it's still in the toilet. Yeah, it is. But I think it's just Classic now like... Lee, leaving those fat fucking shits. But I think it's more just... It's kind of like cemented now in the toilet. So I can't tell what's new, what's Have not. Have you it's, seen the... God, his toilet, so yeah. We are acting like we're on cocaine, but it's all just because we're all falling in love at the same time. And, and when you are falling in love, you're, you, okay, your brain no, starts acting as I if it's on drugs. I also in the car. She goes, oh, I'm not going to talk about it. Like, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to bring it up to Lee. And then she comes in here and she's like, <laughs> I have a secret. Guess who knows? <laughs> Um, but you know, that's your brain on, I listened to this podcast once called your brain on love and it, it activates all of the same, um, chemicals that cocaine does. Okay. Wait, um, um, what's his I'm name? I'm sorry, lady. Do you want to fucking fight right now? No. Cause you guys should see how he's, he's looking at me like this. No, Gap, keep the vibes so high. Literally... Keep the vibes high. Fuck. I never said I was falling in love. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you yeah. are. But here's the and thing. it's with me right now. It, Lee, here's the thing. <laughs> if we projecting. say you're falling in love, then you're falling in love. So... <laughs> Lee, Lee thinks, okay, so he thinks you think I'm projecting. So you're saying that I'm falling in love with you. <laughs> Lee and I are falling in love right well, now. Here, okay, I want to bring something up. I want to bring something up. I'm going to do it right it better now. Be good. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Here's the thing I'm going to bring up. <sighs> Valentine's Day 2022. <laughs> Is on the way. Is on the way. Well, it's it's not on the way, but it is on the way. Because here's the thing. We're kind of gearing up for the season of love. And as we know, I was entering, you know, uh, I, I was sorry. I was exiting a relationship this time last year. Stop. L what? Wait, no. Why are you telling us to stop? Lee, stop I'm, what? What? Stop what? Talking about love? I, I, know, what you I know. Lee, what are you telling us to stop to have a for? good, fucking, cheerful, fucking, positive night? I'm sorry. Wait, why are you literally telling us to stop? Yeah, well, stop what? Stop talking on the stop podcast that so we're literally night. trying to talk? Continue. Thank you. Lee. This is why I fucking hate Where men. Where are you going? Where no, are you no, going? Where are you 
can control us. Yeah, you are trying to what? So I can't get an abortion now, Lee? I can't fucking I get a fucking, fucking saw abortion. You. I was out of Planned Parenthood this morning, waving your little fucking. Yeah, that was pray, it. Wasn't pray it? for no abortions. It was. You I know what? You've been really angry at me ever since I started being gay, and I know that. This is just fucking homophobic. Yeah, he fucking is. When Gabby calls me a dyke, it's with love, but when you say it, it's with venom. venom. Anyway, what I was gonna say is, last year, Lee, I was exiting a relationship, and you were trying to enter a marriage with me. Oh, is that why you were saying stop? Yes. <laughs> And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. So uh, Lee was trying I'm, to fuck Harper last year at Valentine's Day. But Lee, to be fair, to be fair, Lee had game. Lee had game. And he was so sweet. And you were really and sweet about really it. And you were really sweet, Lee. But Lee, we can't, we can't mix saying. we can't mix the podcast and fucking. And that's simply I know, and that's it simply the, is what it is. But here's the thing. On I on the quit. day that, on the, <laughs> I'm quitting. But on the day, well, Lee, you're not. It's gonna Lee, end, you can't quit. You can't, yeah. Who's gonna, gonna suck you off? Literally. <laughs> well, for 600, she might. But here's the thing. <laughs> and that's on gag reflex. But here's the thing. Now this year, I'm just trying to reflect, Lee. It's a new year. It's a new realm of possibilities. You know, our relationship has grown and changed and morphed into something more deeper than our marriage ever could have been. I and love that. That's why you yelled stop. Like, I'm just yelling stop for no reason. <laughs> that's what yeah. I thought. I thought you didn't want us to talk about love. No. <laughs> Gabby, I, I love that Gabby you didn't bring know. This up for, for the eighth episode in a row. I didn't bring it up. Hey, she, uh, Harper did. Okay, and this Harper's is why. Harper's obsessed with me. You both <laughs> are literally fucking obsessed with me. And I, it's getting uncomfortable, guys. And I just, I we need, oh. to, we need to air it out and, and let the fans know that you both are literally in love with me and obsessed with me. And it's a little, it's a little uh, This is what little incels sound like. Can I tell this you something? This is what incels sound like. This is, this is one step away from fucking shooting us and then our dead bodies. Yeah, and then, and then, and then when he's really? doing it, he's gonna be like, "You guys deserve this. You wanted this. Is this. What you, wanted. you fucking wanted this. <laughs> you wanted this. You, you stupid what? Talk shit now, you stupid bitches. <laughs> yeah, talk shit. <laughs> and then he, as he's fucking us, of course, it's gonna be missionary with our dead bodies. And yeah, as you're for <laughs> 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 See how much he loves you. Know what he's gonna do? He's gonna do that fucking Jeffrey Dahmer thing where he beheads both of us, puts our head in fucking formaldehyde, keeps it under his bed in a jar. Yeah, fucks our body. I think it's gonna be in the fridge because he's gonna open up his fridge and just sit there like a fucking. And freak. yeah, he's gonna pull it on. He's gonna kiss it lightly. He's gonna go. Yeah, he That's is. For my girls. He is. And he's gonna make the mouth smooth and go. I'm sorry, Lee. I didn't mean to disrespect you. I never yeah, meant any of gonna, the mean things I said. Yeah, and he'll punch it in the face and be like, "That's right." Yeah, that's yeah, right. He will say sorry again. I'm sorry, Lee. You guys are both obsessed. <laughs> Lee, it's and your fault for you guys, shitting in the you toilet. You are in, in love with me. And I'm sorry that I leave my shits. It leaves, it gets the pheromones all What's your, I know, you've conditioned us. confused. You've yes. confused us. <laughs> we walk in here, we start, our heads start spinning. We say, do you understand what this is doing to my relationship with Janine? It's confusing to walk in here being in love with Janine and then I start smelling your shit it, and you I get, everything gets all shit. scrambled, Lee. <laughs> what, what's your sign again? Cancer. When's your birthday? Is it really? It's July 17th. Whoa! My brother's a Are you a cancer? The guy that I'm... The guy... The, uh, is a cancer. Turn the mic towards me. Sorry. You, for God's sake. Sorry. And that's um, I'm cancer. Yeah, I am a cancer, yeah. Hey, everyone. We are really excited to announce to you we are working with our first ad. We are using the drip stick from Awkward Essentials, a.k.a. AKA the cum sponge. The cum sponge. What is it? it it's designed to absorb excess cum after sex. So if you're getting loads yes. blown into loads. you, loads, this thing. This is going to clean you right up, girl. Woo! It eliminates that drippy, drippy, post-sex, nasty, nasty. And it's made with a soft medical grade sponge with an easy to hold flared handle. It's super easy to use. Just insert the sponge while holding onto the handle. Don't let go. And that's on the Titanic. Gently twist it around a few times, then remove it, throw it away. And you can put the you can put it back into the package where it came in, like a tampon. Whoa. Okay. And it's only uh, meant for vaginal sex. Sorry, guys. No badussies, no bussies. No, this, this is, is for the vag queens only. Only if you're getting cream pie and you need to get the fucking cum out, you use this little spongy, get suck it out of you. Uh, it's super easy easy to use. Yeah, you could throw it in a bag if you're spending the night or a purse if you guys don't know where you stand. Yeah, and it's how fun, how cute is that? You say, I'm going to go to the ladies' room. You just cream pied me. I'm going to go clean out. Also, because here's the thing. If you leave cum in yourself for too long, you're going to get BV. BV. It's going to like mess some things up. You're going to get a yeast infection. Yeah, 
It's, you, yeah. you don't want it. You don't and want this any is of it. It's make messy. Your, your sexual experience so much cuter. And also, ladies, you know that sometimes when you hook up with a man and his comes a little spunky, you're going to be walking up that stink. On, you're and this is going to eliminate that. Right. And he blames it on you. He blames the vaginal stink on you, but really it's his nasty and cum. So like get it out of him. You. So get it out of you. Yeah. Get out. Get out his bad energy and his get, cum. Exactly. Get it the fuck out. But um, most importantly, you're going to want to visit awkwardessentials.com to get 10% off a box of dripsticks with the code T time 10. Dripsticks come in packs of 10, 20, 69, mm. or 100. Mm. So if you're getting fucked a lot, this is perfect for you. Uh, and I know a lot of y'all are going through breakups right now. So get the drip sticks. Absolutely. For your fun times. Um, Awkward Essentials also has a ton of other great products. You can use the Tea Time 10 code for like the Jizz Machine sweatpants. Whoa! And their newest product, the Nikki Vibe Kit, which has everything you need for your first vibrator, including lube, cleaner. And y'all know it comes with a PDF that walks you through the how-tos. I love that. Love that. Go home, put that on the TV. Relax. Use code Tea Time 10 at awkwardessentials.com. Tea Time 10, awkwardessentials.com. All I was trying to get at, Here. Lee, is that it's a new year. It's full of new beginnings. It's sweet. We're all, you know, staying in our own lanes, unlike last year. The yeah. lines have been built. I don't even know what we're talking and, about at this point. Well, Gabby, it's really not that hard. But Harper just wants me to s still try to fuck her. Yeah, oh she does. Oh, my God. It. She, she does. It. Yeah. Here's the thing. You literally Actually, I'm do. I'm on your side now. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. You won't be. You're not going to want to team up with her when everything starts coming out. So uh, let's do Yeah, we do got that. a lot to unpack. And we're going to unpack more on Patreon because I can't go too into detail about everything. But Gabby's in love. Episode. Gabby's in love. Not in love. Yeah, I am. I don't know. Yeah, but, she is. But, um, Gabby's in love. Jesus. It's the Christ. feeling. It's the feeling of... Gabby's in love. It's the feeling of... It's the brain chemistry. It's Gabby's brain in love. Chemistry. I'm in love. You're in Lee, love. Lee's on the road to being in love. I'm on the verge of love. Lee and I are going to a concert together on Saturday. We are going to... Oh, my cousin, anybody who... Oh, this is going to... It's going to come out, but... Yeah, never mind. Anyways, her cousin's playing a show at the Troubadour Literally, Saturday night. this is coming out the day after. So, guess what? You guys are listening to this and... No, just so don't. Bad. Just don't, because everyone's honestly because tired of you. Because my stomach is rumbling. Do it. Do stop! It. Gabby! Stop! I did it. Don't. Stop! No, you are a nasty... I heard that one. Scooch forward a little. Yeah. Stop. This is why we can't this okay. You know what? You're emotionally so bad. you're emotionally manipulative and abusive. It smells so bad. No. It smells like I ship myself. No. You are nasty, unbecoming. It smells like I shit myself. Lee, yeah, it Lee literally just it walked literally in and she wanted to smell it. You're so gross. You yeah, Lee, you pretended like you wanted to fit. Also, why did you oh put your finger? Eye! Lee put his finger on my pussy when he just adjusted the chair, and that was really weird. And I'm telling Janine. Okay, that's me too, him. Tweet it. Tweet okay, it, tweet okay, it. okay. I'm tweeting. Lee touched my pussy. My eye is rotting. <laughs> my eye is fucking he did. Wait, hashtag, I am gonna tweet that right now. I'm just gonna say Lee. Lee I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna tweet hashtag Lee touch my pussy. I don't I don't ever this is the worst this is the worst intro we've ever had to an episode because we're all Gabby, here's the worst because we're all fucking hopped up on a drama. I'm honestly normal. You're fucked up. Lee, uh, you're farting and shitting, and that's weird. Lee, I don't know why you just put your finger in my pussy. That was <laughs> honestly, I actually, I actually kind of like admire okay, that. Can you we just like, like talk about something actually now? Okay, let's talk about something. What? What's going on? Let's, what's going on right now? I don't know. You're being boring. No, I'm not. We have to yeah, you are, let's what? talk what? about what's going on in our lives for a second. What's going on in your life? That, do you notice how she just wants to talk about what's going on? I do. I just want to talk about myself. I know. Literally, it's giving narcissism. But okay. what? No. Um, what's our prompt today? It's avoidance. 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 What are we avoiding? Okay. To be honest, I'm really avoiding getting my driver's license renewed because I, I've been driving with an expired license for like four months. Right. Really afraid of getting a okay, new one because I'm going to have to take the fucking written test. <clears throat> I'm going to fail and I'm avoiding it. Do you know how many that sucks. straight up inbred morons <laughs> get their driver's licenses Tell like us. every day? Yeah. What, what, okay, Lee. Thank you. I, yeah. I said that in the most... <laughs> Light way I could. And what's funny is that the last two times I took the test, I fucking failed. <laughs> so <laughs> okay, you're not. Wait. So when you're he, not building a good fucking. Ca so I'm less than. Well, why don't you just cheat then, Gabby? You I've can, tried. You can look up the. You can take practice tests. Yeah, I have. I fail every time. <sighs> have take like write down the answers to the practice tests on an index card. They don't check you for things, and just bring it in there with you. I'll do it. Yeah. But I'm not sure when. Interesting. Okay. You hear my uh, yeah, thing? I do. If you, get if you get pulled over, you're, oh, you're fucked. fucked. You're fucked. Especially with your track record. They're going to go really hard on you. I know, because I don't have a front license plate either. <clears throat> do, you oh. have, do you have tickets? Do you have no, I don't. against your license? No, no tickets. Okay. okay, good. No tickets, tight pussy. 
it's giving loose. But Why are you um, laughing? What's something fun? that I'm avoiding is I need to reshoot some scenes really from my short. And that's really fucking stressing me the fuck out. And honestly, mm, Lee, it sucks for you because I'm going to have to use your apartment. Yeah, you do have to shoot those. You yeah, have you been avoiding that. that. You really want to use this apartment? I need to. Very badly. Okay. What are you avoiding? Uh, Going to the gym. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. It's hard. I hate it. I, I really hate it. And... Uh, okay, I'm recording tea time. One second. I'll call you back at four. Who is that? <laughs> what was that? What the fuck was that? Why? I had to pick it up. Who uh, was it? Sorry. It's Janine. No. Um. <laughs> this went from a high to curse. <laughs> this is the worst this episode is, we've ever done, and I can tell. This is because, this is because when you start, when you start really yeah. positive. No, that's because you're uncomfortable with being positive. But here's the thing. <laughs> Lee's mad that it brought up Valentine's Day. You're mad because you have fucking pink eye and you're trying to gaslight us into thinking it's formaldehyde. It's yes, yeah, shit in your hand. What if I literally okay. go blind? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I just realized that we can't record this podcast when any of us are in good moods. This podcast only works when all of us are really down. <laughs> well, that's 90% of the time. Lee, but you texted a really sweet thing. I had, was having like a fucking spiral. As y'all know, I was having a bad fucking spiral. Um, what was it? Like two days ago? And... For like a week, and you didn't say anything to anybody. She does that, yeah. and then you say, "What's going on?" She goes, "Nothing." Yeah, I say it's really obvious that there's something going on. She's yeah, like, "No, there's right. not." Well, yeah. you didn't ask, and you didn't pick up on it, so I guess it wasn't that obvious. Well, but I, I always pick up on it. But then you give me attitude, so I'm like, "Well, I'm not going to ask then." <laughs> no, actually, actually, I'll, no, I'll you, did you did ask. You did ask, and room. I did tell you that I was just sad. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know why you're trying to show off right now because we actually I'm not did talk. To show off. I'm just yeah, you did telling. because we did actually have a talk about. No, you're not. No, you're not really coming out in like an honest way, though. So, so what was like a really for you. nice thing that I did? Um, you texted yeah, a really, re- yeah. Well, you can't talk about that because it was a nice thing that Lee did. Um, so anyway, so not about you at all. Not about you. So it's about Lee. <laughs> but so a nice thing, that, <laughs> a nice thing that Lee did, not Gabby. It was Lee. Um, was that you texted? I'm, I'm me. okay with that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't need. I don't need. Yeah, no. Your, so, so, it's about, so it's about Lee now. It's I don't not need about your you. So it's not I'm about. Comfortable it's, with who I am. Yeah, and that's good. So I, I hope you can be comfortable in silence because oh, it's am, not about you. Not about you at all. It's about Lee. Not on you. It's about Lee. Please, so, continue. so uh, yeah. So back to Lee. Oh, just Lee. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, and I am. Oh, Thank you. Was, well, yeah. What was the really, really like, really thoughtful, nice thing that I did? Well, let's all. Well, you flushed the toilet, number one. So thank God. <laughs> okay. uh, but that also, you texted a really sweet thing about like being grounded in, uh, it was very like 12 step, but you were just like, you know, you need to kind of like release these problems and you need to pray about it and yeah, give it to God. Yeah, give it to God. And you Turn just were like really fucking sweet. Yeah. You're welcome. And I said, these texts are way better than the texts I got in February 2022. <laughs> when he said that he wanted to titty fuck you. Yeah, and he goes, Harper, can I please squeeze your sweater yams? And I said, Lee. Harper, I see those mean things uh, jiggle, jiggle, jiggling every episode. And I'm wondering, those do you think I could? Things. Those mean things. <laughs> you so think like I someone can... who doesn't have tits. No, no, it's just... <laughs> no, not those mean things. I see those angry knockers. <laughs> hey, I see those fucking <laughs> big, big ones. <laughs> what do people? Bags of sand. Hey, those angry Humpty Dumpty yeah. look like they need a cuddle. <laughs> those, those fat eggs. Um, those fat. What, what do people Stop. with tits? What are the compliments people with tits get? Fat eggs. Fat eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew it, bitch. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's get to <laughs> Gabby, you start. You fuck. I'm, avo- <laughs> I'm avoiding getting a pussy reduction. And my pussy's just fucking so right. fucking good and big. A pussy reduction? So you're, you're avoiding <laughs> tightening your pussy? That's- no, 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 no. Pussy's yeah, yeah. tight. But no, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're not listening. You're not listening. Pussy's tight. Pussy's tight. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm talking tight. The, the, tight. the more but you say it, the looser. But, but, but just like... There's in, just a lot of it. A lot of... Just a heavy <laughs> pussy. There's a fucking big <laughs> pussy. But tight. So stupid. So fucking tight. <laughs> So Here's the thing. I don't think you. I think it's kind of like an ear. I think it's kind of like you know, like when you gauge your I'm ears say, and you start if you stretching. Fuck, if you fuck me, you'd come in one second because that's how tight I am, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> So sorry I said that. Now here's the other thing. Okay, let's start. I guess. Well, yeah, you have to start reading. Cause it's your so time. today on things we're avoiding. I have a lot of things that I'm. Av- no, you know what? My avoidance plate is actually pretty clean right now. Other than the driver's license, I've taken care of ending some things I needed to end, and that's it. Yeah, I don't really feel. Yeah, I kind of feel like 
at peace. I was stressed yeah. about career shit, but there's nothing like besides like just like finishing the short, there's nothing that I'm severely avoiding. I would I don't think. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Honk Bonk and Lee. Before I get into my avoidance story, I want to say thank you for keeping the pod and Patreon going over Christmas. You're champions. I had flu. I had the flu for three weeks over Christmas and New Year's, and your episodes gave me something to look forward to when I was sick. I love that. Thank you for saying that. We always, we are a bunch of insecure um, fucks over here. So it's nice that we get validation. We from were you guys. literally like one of the only pods going over the holidays. I love okay. That. Why? Because we're superior. Um, yeah. And not because we crave validation that badly that we couldn't stomach taking a week off. It's not that. It's because we're fucking hardworking and we love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> My eye is in so much pain. What if I literally go blind? What if I do? Whatever. Okay. It's, right now, I I right now, the number one thing I'm avoiding is dating. Mm. This is perfect. Having been single for nine months after my 10 year relationship ended. Wow. The idea of getting <clears throat> the idea of dating again doesn't really fill me with joy and people are wondering when I'm going to put myself out there again. But the only time I seem to get excited at the idea of meeting a guy is when I'm ovulating and basically can't control my urges. Now that's very animalistic of you and mm -hmm. I love that. Put a pin in that. We're coming back to that. Other than the fact that me dating involves being with men, there's a few reasons I'm avoiding it. Number 1 being I haven't dated in over a fucking decade since I was 22. The dating world is so different now, and so am I. So it's a bit overwhelming. When I last dated, there were no apps, and dating sites like Plenty of Fish were a new concept, which was full of horny men and trolls. Considering that men are still neggy losers on the internet a decade later, I have decided dating apps aren't for me right now. I just want to meet a man in real life by chance or something, which wouldn't be a problem if I could look any hot man in the eye seriously i see a man checking me out we walk past each other and what does this idiot do look the other way get some useless shit out of my pockets pretend like <laughs> that's so funny pretend like my dog's harness needs adjusting blow my nose the list goes on so not only am i avoiding dating i'm actively avoiding eye contact with any man i find remotely attractive okay there's so much to dive into in this mm -hmm. i love this i really love this Another reason I'm avoiding dating is because the horror stories I've heard about dating in my city. A colleague told me 50% of the city's population is single, as though it's a good thing. But according to many people here, it makes the dating scene a big old meat market. Where are you? So, oh my gosh, my stomach is rumbling. So Stop. many people I know complain about having a hard time dating here. Too much drama, too many weirdos, lots of ghosting, lots of situationships, and someone, and always someone new to move on to any day of the week. Being in my 30s, I'm also much more aware of what I want and definitely know what I don't like, even if it's something casual. I'm in a good place with who I am. I've worked on my shit. I'm a strong communicator and I'm achieving what I want in my career right now. So it just makes me think, who the fuck is going to be able to match me where I am right now? So many men spend their whole lives without having anything together, don't know what they want and, and sure as shit haven't worked on themselves. I think the last reason, God, this is fucking good. I think the last reason I'm avoiding dating is that 10 years later, I understand a lot more of the risks women take by just getting to know a man. Could be your soulmate, could be a sociopath who wants to strangle you, but you won't find out until you invite the fucker into your life. So I guess eventually I'll need to start looking some potential future conquests in the eye and see what happens. Help me unpacking why I've dragged, why I've not dragged myself back into the dating world wasn't too long. Also, once I do start dating, I am low-key hoping that some weird shit happens. So I've got some tea for my honks. Um, I want to say it was not too long. Um, and I hope that when you start dating, you send us your dating stories. Yes, I can't wait for that. You sound extremely intelligent. And I really um, appreciated this because I think it's very, I think it's very, uh, I think it's packed with a lot of ju juicy things. Juicy things. Okay. Okay. Hold on. <clears throat> Um, right now, the number one thing I'm avoiding is dating, blah, blah, blah. She's out of a 10 year relationship. She's been single for That's nine months. That's so fucking hard. I mean, getting out of like, like when I got out of like a three year relationship, that was already like, what the fuck? So years. getting out of 10 fucking years. Also, I think you should legally be allowed to sue a man for robbing you of your 20s. Of, of 10 years of your life. Here's the other thing. Nine months is not that long. They say, they say that like taking a year to yourself is really beneficial. So honestly, like you're in the very baby stages of like 
healing and getting to know yourself outside of this 10 year relationship. Yeah. And I think the reason why you're not meeting people's eyes is because like, you're just not ready yet. So like, don't force it. Like you have the rest of your life to do this. And, and you are and you know that you're not ready. And it's good that you're acknowledging that. Like you don't, because I think what the, the worst thing that we can do is force ourselves to go and be ready like to be ready when yeah, we're not. And you're, it's, you're not going to, that's not, that energy is not going to cultivate anything positive. And I think you're just going to like, I think it's, I think it's going to elongate the healing process. It does. And it elong, and then it like, it, when you get into relationships, <clears throat> when you're not fully secure with where you're at, it opens the door for a lot of like toxicity, you know, abuse, whether or not that you're not even like physical abuse, but I mean like emotional abuse. I don't know. I think it just, it, it can be a very slippery slope when we start dating when we're not ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah, insecurity can really attract men that like are like attracted to insecurity. And it's like, they don't even yeah. know that they are, but when you are totally, it's for a, a reason you kind of are like into the kind of power play stuff. Yeah, I I have. I I mean, I'm sure we've all made this mistake of like dating before we were ready. No, I never have. Okay, (laughs) Um, you're a a literal liar. I I never have. And it's it's always a fucking mess. And you, it is because you're not you're not over your your fucking person, and so you are. And also, you're like so like emotionally fucking like raw. Ten years, you have so much to figure out about who you are now. Also, don't be stressed out about the fucking apps. I know so many goddamn people that that date without using the apps. Like, you truly can. But also, when you're ready to... You what? I never use apps. Never. They're a nightmare. They're a fucking nightmare. They make... For me personally, they make me judgmental. Yeah. I get angry when I look at them. It's it, it what it is. It's just like a menu of people and it feels it's like you're post mating intimacy. It's cheap. It's, yeah. it's to me, it's gross. Um, also, but I also like, you know, like uh, my favorite cousin met her husband uh, off of Tinder and they're still together. And he is the best person I've ever met in my fucking life. And it's not to say that they don't work, but I don't think you need totally. to feel the pressure to be on them. But I think if you are someone where it doesn't like it doesn't emotionally work for you, mm-hmm. then don't do it. Like for me, it doesn't work for me. I don't like it. So this is also what you said about um, your people like friends and stuff are asking like, when are you going to start dating again? Don't feel like you need to, to like adhere to like or to, to like, you know, to people please them. Right. Because I think like we're so obsessed with other people's dating lives. We like get, we, first of all, we get so judgmental. We love judging people's dating lives. I, like it's like all I do, you know, mm-hmm. with my friends. Yeah. And you look at their dating lives and you're like, wow, they're, they're doing that wrong. But it's like, who the fuck is it? Who is it? for us to judge anything about the way that somebody's dating. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously like you can, you look out for your friends and you see unhealthy patterns, but it's like really only comes down to like the person and whoever the individual is that they're dating. Right. It's not really up for us to judge other people and the way that they date and the time that it takes for somebody to start yeah. dating again. Also, usually when people are are really pushed, like if your friends are in relationships, like when are you gonna start dating again? It's like, honestly, that's probably like their like, projection of their own their unsettledness boredom dating it should be fun like of course it's going to be tedious like getting to know like some fucking haunted people mm-hmm. but like when you're in a healthy space you can just laugh it off and keep it moving whereas when you're dating and you're triggered it's going to i think emotionally like wear you down absolutely like with her being like too much drama too many weirdos lots of ghosting first of all this is the issue with dating modern day dating we all treat each other like we're expendable there is a lot of ghosting um, I also think because of the apps, like, like you're dealing with like a fucking complex human being, and instead you're just like, mm, and just like tossing them to the wind. And yeah. I'm like, I think it just takes one second to send a simple text, yeah, to say, hey, not interested, gonna like do my own thing. Yeah, we treat each other with like zero respect and consideration. I've been guilty of it too. Mm -hmm. Um, The last reason I'm avoiding dating is that 10 years later, I understand a lot more risks women take by getting to know a man. That's another, that's very true. Oh, okay. So, okay. So this brought something up. So recently there was, did y'all see this? There was this Vice video. Um, They they did one on like what it means to be a man and what it means to be a woman. Did you guys see this? No, love this. Okay, Janine and I were just watching the man one. Um, Christian Walker is one of the people on there. And then this TikToker, um, Griffin, 
Um, he's, or I think they're non-binary, but uh, they're they're very interesting and very opposite. Uh, but they had like a bunch of people, like I know a guy from the hood, a guy who's just like some trendy dude in New York, a guy who's from Texas who's like all about God, a guy who's not religious, like uh, just a bunch of different, pe- um, you know, people from walks of life talking about what it means to be a man. And this one guy was saying about like he he was complaining about dating and he was like oh dress is so annoying like women they have like these and he's like dating right now for me isn't fun because women they have these really long strenuous um detailed lists like these like these checklists of what you need and like you need to open the door you have like the sidewalk rule you need to pay for dinner you need to do this you need to do that and then you have to walk him home or he's in new york so uh, then you have to take them home da 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 and you know he was complaining and then Griffin goes, he's like, well, I, if you really think about it, uh, I don't think it's too much to ask for, like, you know, a woman is saying, uh, okay, when I'm going out with you, I could be murdered, but here we go. So when you go out with her, like, okay, I got to pay for this. Like, he's like, I think that's a, that's a fair exchange. Right. Like because- there's like a, there's a, because there is um, a power dynamic and like, there is. I think now more than ever, women do have higher standards. And I think it is quite an adjust mm-hmm. adjustment for men. Mm. Um, but I think that it's, it's a necessary one because for far too long, women have been getting taken advantage of or like emotionally depleted like that. Like it's, it's, right. it's really a, and like kind of like what you're saying that kind of like goes off of the point of um the way that we treat each other i think that everyone can go or everyone ha- like has some room to like to improve the way yeah. that they are interacting with others especially when you're dating someone for the first time it's scary dating people is fucking scary and especially for women because we can get fucking murdered we get murked like fucking that it's yeah it's a scary world to date in um also there's such a lack of trust, I think. Oh, yeah. And all of us talking to everyone We're all, all the time. There's this, all these social media. Everyone exactly. is a fucking whore. The yeah. issue, like, even with, like, remove that, it's like none of us fucking trust each other because we are all online. We're all, we all, like, are taking screenshots of things, sending them to people, blah, blah, blah. Like, we're all clocking each other's every movement. And it... Privacy is... There's zero such privacy. Such a precious commodity that not everyone is allotted now. Yeah, it's a scary... It is a fucking scary world to date in. Also, I know that, like, sometimes when you take the pressure off of these things is when it all kind of just opens up to you. Yeah, because, I, you know, obviously we just listed, like, all, like, the negatives. But when you're in a place where you feel more stable, like just, just like emotional, like, uh, did I just say, I guess I did just say, it's just like, it's like sturdy within yourself. Yeah. I think that dating can be more fun. And of course it's still going to be like, you know, of course it's, it's normal to have, um, nerves and to be anxious, but when you're more, um, when you're, when you're ready to do it, um, I, I think it's not going to be so tedious. And I think you can, yeah. I, 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 again, just like m- removing the pressure Yeah, is, because like you're getting to know someone that like ideally, I mean, it depends also like what you're like dating for, but like right. ideally, like you're dating to like you know to meet someone that you're gonna really enjoy and to spend more time with, and so like that should be like a fun experience. We also date to learn about ourselves because dating, like romantic relationships, can teach us a lot about our own intimacy issues. Can teach us a lot about our own like internalized fear and insecurities. Um, so it's, it's interesting. I don't know. Dating is, is interesting. It's to learn about other people. It's to learn about ourselves. And can I say one thing to the pores really quick? Yeah. To to the motherfucking pores. If you can't, because this guy in the, in the, in the vice video who was complaining about this, he was like, I have to spend 150 on dinner every single time. Okay. If you don't have that money, don't spend it. But like, there's a bunch of other cute options that you can do on a first date. Yeah. Um, also, I sometimes I think dinner dates are. I know some girls are like, like no, it needs to be dinner. But also, yeah. I think that like if you really don't know this person at all, I think that it can kind of sometimes feel like an interview almost. And some people are weird with food. Yeah. Cough, cough, me. So like I think sometimes doing something again, removing all pressure, like doing coffee or like going for a walk. Going or, for a walk. I don't know. There's so many other cute fucking fun things to do. Also, though, I, I would say like expect when class. you start dating to spend a little bit of money because like that's just what it is for a second. No, it, no, it totally is. But I'm saying for uh, like on a yeah, brand yeah, yeah. spanking new date, you have no idea who this person is. No idea. I think like removing all the pressure on both ends. I think you can still have a nice time and not like, because I know like a lot of people complain about money, but I'm just saying like yeah. you, you can still have a really sweet, nice time and you can still make it thoughtful without without like breaking the bank. Yeah. I mean, I went on a first date the other night and it was, we went to dinner and it was very much like we, I addressed it. I was like, does it feel like we're like in 
an interview right now because it, it can feel a little interview in, of interviewing and you're both like sitting there and you're like eating in front of each other and you're like trying to be like so who are you it's very mm-hmm. awkward and clunk clunkly very awkward and clunky but also um fun yeah if you like the person <laughs> And there it is, and there it isn't. Nerd. I know. Okay. And that's not everyone on this podcast. And being that's gay. not sometimes you have a dinner date with somebody and you think, I could dinner date this person for the rest of my life. Okay. I, okay. And that's on, join us on Patreon. Okay. And that's on C on Patreon. Um, hi, honks. I fucking love you all, and I've learned so much from you. I have this weird thing with tattooed foreign guys. Literally every guy I had sex with was from a different country and covered in tattoos. Okay, go okay, off. Okay, it's giving me. Um, I'm not into really, no, okay. Uh, I'm not into relationships, and sex with them was not very good, actually. So I had to avoid a bunch of places. A lot of restaurants where they worked, sushi, ramen, Indian food. Oh, at some point, I had to very carefully choose places where I could eat in my not-so-big city. <laughs> Um, one situation was a bit different. I met a guy on Tinder. He was from Georgia and very, very hot, all covered in tattoos, handsome, had some photos of his car with a big send nude sticker on the side of his, uh, on the side at his profile. It's giving you with your bumper sticker. Um, Gabby's bumper sticker says, stop honking. I'm sucking my dick and I'm trying not to crash. Um, It, it says, keep honking. I'm behind the wheel trying to suck my own dick and I'm definitely going to crash. I literally nailed it. Um, so definitely not a, hu- not, so definitely not husband material. Definitely my type. When we met in person, it was the best sex I've ever had. Of Whoa. course it is. But of course it is. Literally, of course. Um, he somehow understood me without words and met all my needs. We agreed on just sex. So I was a bit surprised when I had to go to work the next day and he wouldn't leave my bed. He was trying to make excuses to stay. And that's on new roommate. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot really <laughs> Anyway, fast. and that's on taking in the homeless. Um, anyways, he <laughs> left eventually. Some Someone may say I was in my hoe phase because I had ne- uh, I never had sex twice with the same person. Okay. Okay, cute. I Go wanted off. to make an exception for him though. So when he messaged me the next day, I responded. I was willing to meet with him again until he asked me if I liked anal. And then there's a smiley face. And then there's that. And then, and there's, and then that. there's that. Because here's the thing, you can never, kind of like what we learned with our good energy, you can never have something good for long. No, you can't because it's within 48 hours. They say, hey, do you like anal? Hey, do you like fucking anal? <laughs> no. Uh, then it was over for, then it was over for us. So I had to avoid a Georgian restaurant where he worked. Yeah, he did. So here's the thing. I'm going to be honest with you. Just going to hit a little pause. Yeah, please. In this, I thought, she was going out and on her travels, she's she she's meeting these interesting men or like maybe these like tourists. Yeah. So but really what what Miss Girl's doing is she's going into restaurants. Trying to fuck a chef. Going going to the back and going, all right, chefs, line up. Yeah. She goes into she's, the, go, she's picking them yeah. out like a motherfucking lineup and she goes, Ethiopia? Yes. Yeah. South Korea, yes. And I go, okay. Kitchen so, guys, line up. Let me see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. And she goes, where are you from? Uh, I've already fucked that. Never mind. So it's yeah, giving yeah. United Nations. Okay. Um, then it was over for us. And so I'd avoid the Georgian restaurant where he worked. I, I guess, no, I'm going to butcher this. Uh, Kachapuri for me. Hmm. It's giving fluent. Wow. Okay. So that's it's giving an African dish. Kachapuri. Fuck. This is dish. really. It, I don't think it's was what what country did she? Well, say Georgia is in Africa, isn't it? No, no Georgia is like Middle East. Wait, did she say? I was like trying to focus on this word. I didn't even hear. Was is Georgia not in Africa? No. no. What am I thinking of? Not that. It's giving uncultured. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm thinking of Jordan. Where am I thinking? Yeah. yeah, you're thinking of Jordan. Jordan's in Africa. Yes, but Georgia is not. Georgia's in the Middle East. I'm pretty sure. Um. Or the east. Fuck, I hope it's in Africa because I'm going to fucking flip you guys off if it is. It's not. I'm literally looking at the map. It's, it's in the Middle East. It's right, oh, next yeah. to, it's right next to Turkey. It's in between Russia and Turkey and yeah. Armenia. Uncultured, unethical. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. So now I'm on SSRIs and have no sex drive. So all tattooed restaurant workers are... They need to make a fucking SSRI that doesn't do this to you. Okay. Yeah, I know. I fucking can't. Okay. Um. So now I'm on SSRIs and have no sex drive. So all tattooed restaurant workers are finally safe. The city, ah. the city is more peaceful. I'll probably Hilarious. never understand why I do have to take my pants off every time I see a tattooed foreigner. Yeah. Thanks for reading. Maybe you just need to travel. Love you. Please don't judge me. I'm working on myself. Here's the thing. No judgment here. Literally, literally not judging you at all because 
this was really tame. And I honestly had to just like kind of like reread it really quickly to go, well, what are you even avoid- avoiding? She's avoiding restaurants. Oh, you're avoiding restaurants Where because she's fucked all the chefs. Because you keep going and you're fucking all the chefs. And you know what? I don't know how they're letting you back there, but go off. But honestly, good for you because the chefs, uh, kitchen guys are always hot. They fucking are. Kitchen guys are fucking hot. Now, th- we're going to have to pause because I have to pee so badly. One okay, second. go go pee. Ew, you can smell, dude. You, you like, actually like smell like feces. Yeah, I just blew it up. Yeah, we can continue. <laughs> cool. Fucking where, nasty, where we, nasty pitch. Um, I don't know. Everyone on this. We're talking podcast about is... her not being able to fuck uh, kitchen guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Get over it. I don't understand what this big fucking deal is about kitchen guys. What do you mean? What's they're it? all mentally ill drug addicts. Oh, yeah, they are. So fucking. They're, yeah, they're all, all drug addicts. You're right. They're, yeah, they they're, are. They're fucking college dropout oh. or high school hey, dropout. Hey, don't bring up college dropouts. High school dropout. Gabby and I are literally college dropouts. You wish I dropped out of college. Wait, you didn't even go to college. I went to theater school. Okay, that's not real college, but here's the thing. <laughs> didn't drop out. No. Graduated. Mentally yeah. ill. Yeah, but we saw your teachers because we used to prank call them once and that's not a really guy. But anyway, so here's the thing. What? Here's the thing. I don't know. I think it's giving jealous of kitchen guys, number one. It kind of is, though, because kitchen guys are fun. It is. Can I say something? Some of the best. Nobody ever says this about tech guys that work alone. (laughs) Yeah. Nobody ever wants a fucking tech no, guy that nobody, works alone in a dark room. Because the tattoos you have are like guy. stick figures holding like a joint saying like right on brother and then there's like a sunset. Like their fucking tattoos are fucking Whoa, dangerous you, and hot. Why are you dragging his tattoos? What's going on right now? What is going on wait, right now? Because you... Okay, oh my God. <laughs> wait, okay. Wait, no. here, I have a question. I have a no. question. Do, do we think... Do tattoos increase the hotness of somebody? For me, I don't care either way. Do you see men that have tattoos and you're like, that's fucking hot? You don't care. Well, you know, I, I see some people that have like a bunch, like, okay, you know, who's that guy from Maroon 5? Yeah, Adam Levine. Yeah, I don't, I no, don't like his tattoos. I, I see those tattoos and I go, Mm-mm. too polished. And then guys have these like weirdly, like the po- like a clock and they're all polished. No, thank you. Yeah, or like there's someone that we know and they I, have like, I know they exactly have- who you're going to say. <laughs> We're thinking of the same person. Yeah, yeah, and they have a... I'm not going to say the animal because it's a dead giveaway, but there's an animal tattooed on their body and it is so so colossally disappointing. It's a visual assault every time I look at it. Because there are people who get tattoos and you look at them and you're like, you don't look like you should have these. Yes. You look like somebody who wants to be cool, but you're not cool and you got tattoos that can make you look cool, Mm -hmm. but you're so inherently not cool. There's some tattoos that are so unattracted. I mean, unattractive. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Now, Lee, how are you feeling about women with tattoos? Do you have a preference of tattooed or non-tattooed women? I don't have a preference. No. Hmm. When you see women that are heavily tattooed, do you think that's fucking hot? She wants to know if you want to fuck her for real. I I don't have a preference. I it literally doesn't really weigh. I think See, I think the I think the aesthetic. I think if you have a bunch of tattoos and your aesthetic doesn't fit having a bunch of tattoos, then that's weird. Well, that's but what I'm saying. I like I like I I do think that girls that have tattoos, their general aesthetic is hotter. Okay, so you do like it. I do like it. Yeah, I think it's I think it, but also I but mean, you wouldn't be disappointed if you got with a girl and she didn't have, you wouldn't be like, I can't come because you're not tatted up. No. Do you think Harper's a pussy for not having any tattoos? No, because she doesn't have the aesthetic that would go with it. If Harper had a bunch of tattoos, it would be weird. That's true. It like, would be weird. Yeah. It wouldn't be. It's because Honk is a cute girl. I am a cute girl. Yeah. And yeah. I like being, I, I, I'm you're comfortable, pure. I'm there comfortable aren't... in myself and I, I like, I've, I've, Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to be, so you think the people have, that have tattoos aren't comfortable with themselves? No. And you're violently insecure and that's <laughs> pathetic, but I, uh, when, when that's what that is. But, uh, I'm saying for me, I, I just, I've made it this long without ha- getting a tattoo and every once in a while I'll think about it. But at the end of the day, I'm like, no, I just, I don't know. I just don't have any, but I like, I like when I look at you, I think you look so fucking cool. I love the look of having a lot of tattoos, but I also like, yeah, what Lee's saying, like just for yeah. me personally, it's just not $10,000. Would you get honk my tits as a chess piece? Um, what's the font? Um, old English. Yes. Honk my tits. Honk my tits. You get it right here. So is it okay? So it's it's all is it is it going onto my tits or is it just only on the chest? Is it's it just like just on the chest? Just on the chest takes up the whole chest. Yeah. Oh, the whole chest yeah. oh, for ten thousand? No, 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 no. I rest my case. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah, it's your turn. Hmm. Hmm. All right. 
beep, 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 beep. Um, I'm <laughs> avoiding going to a dermatologist about my concerning about my concerning skin spots. Oh, honey, go. Uh, yeah, you should. I have one that I thought was I have one that I thought was a birthmark, but since she's evolved into a grown woman mark, and sometimes a freckle will literally fall off. It oh, sounds go. Freckles and moles will become raised, itch like hell, and I'll end up scratching it off. Okay, so you absolutely know that there's something fucked up going on with your skin. Mm -hmm. I also grew up in Oceanside, the valley, and we didn't have an indoor cafeteria. We didn't have hallways. What up, Oceanside? Ooh, ah! Okay, 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 okay. We didn't have hallways between classes, and all PE was outside. Yeah, it's giving Southern California. When there was nothing to really do, you would just get stoned and go to the beach, walk on the pier, walk the jetty, and just spend all day there. I just let my skin sizzle. Okay, sister. Okay. My grandfather died of complications of melanoma, but we weren't really close, so maybe it doesn't count. Well, I mean... It, it does, though. It does, because he did die, and he did have melanoma. Yeah, so and, I guess you're, and you're honestly half dead writing this, yeah, so... your relationship has nothing to do with the <laughs> genetics. You're funny. That has me fucking screaming. Wait, what what are you hilarious. exactly saying didn't count? <laughs> no, she's being funny, but here's the thing. She's being funny. She's, she's being fucking funny, okay, but Okay, so she's I guess it's, I, then it didn't hit with me, because I'm just... Nobody else's jokes hit with you. Nobody else's no, jokes. No, no one else's own. jokes ever hit with her. Yeah. Because if she's not the one making them, then it's not okay. It's not, yeah. It's yeah, not yeah. even close to even a joke. Yeah. yeah. You guys can go fuck each other in the diarrhea toilet. Hey, guess what? Gabby <laughs> just took a shit and she splattered on Lee's toilet and then she didn't wipe it up. And that actually legitimately did piss me off. Go. <laughs> Thank you for the podcast. I work from home and you three are like overhearing my deranged and unhinged coworkers <laughs> in the cubicles around me. I'm so proud of you three. I love you. Um, We love you. Well, okay. You know, this is not an advice. You're not asking for advice, but you obviously know that you should probably go to a dermatologist. Yeah, because go sooner rather than yeah, later. Your moles shouldn't be falling off. No, they shouldn't. I need to fucking go back because they're trying yeah, to fuck on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe I am avoiding that. Fuck. Okay, girl. We both need to go. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay, then why are you not being present? I was picking up a story. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Hey, honk and bonk and dot, 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 Lee. I love that. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so good it is so good and after dot 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 i hope you're doing okay <laughs> <laughs> who is this does she know me personally what's going I mean, on obviously sounds like she does i prefer this yeah. to be anonymous if i drop any names by We're the way hungry too gabby <laughs> okay Here's the thing. We start off really positive. I feel like that I was still the most have... pussy response i've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I, I, I mean, still feel like i have a i'm not going to arrest you. You literally get something to eat. Here's the thing. Did you just fart, Lee? No, I didn't fart. Was that, what we're, was that noise? We're hungry too, Gabby. Okay, well, then get something to fucking eat. We don't have anything to eat. I don't know. That's not my problem, is it? I brought a banana. I came prepared. <laughs> you brought my banana. Okay. She brought my banana. Okay. I'll eat away from the mic so you fucking pussies don't get all pissed off. Yeah, thanks. I wonder if you've ever done one nice thing. Okay, anyway, I prefer this to be anonymous if I if I drop any names, by the way. I'm personally not avoiding anything detrimental in my life right now, which is really cool. Okay, bye. Uh, but the topic of avoidance is reminding me of my friend, Snitch, uh, who, <laughs> my friend who tends to ghost people whenever she feels like she can't confront slash face whatever text or conversation or problem she's having with whomever. It sounds like you're taking your inventory. <laughs> um, I love her to death. Okay. And I actually used to do this myself, but I've gotten, a, I've gotten a bit better at not ghosting everyone in my life without at least saying that uh, what I need to say. Okay. She will legit ghost people random slash not reply back to a text and then let her anxiety build up until she's deemed it too late to still be in contact with that person. Okay. Relatable. Honestly, so relatable. And I used to fucking do that. I only very recently have I stopped, mm -hmm. but I used to do that and it was so bad. Relatable. I would just straight up just not. Okay. Remember when I fucking, uh, did my friend show at the Echo? I literally did this to her. And then I was like, okay, well, we just can't be friends. And so then I, because I, I had just like missed her calls. And then I thought she was mad at me. So then I was avoiding her. And I was like, I just, I couldn't fucking do it. And then she left me a voice note being like, hey, Harper, I know you're just feeling anxious right now, but like, everything's all good. This is what I like. I just want you to open for me at the Echo. So just call me back. And if you don't want to, you don't have to. And I was like, she understood. I, yeah, she did understand. But that, that experience was honestly like life changing. Cause I'm like, okay, I need to like get a hold of this. You know, it's life changing is how nice and full I feel after eating that juicy banana. Mm. Well, just because you just emptied out your fucking intestines in Lee's bathroom. And I don't even know how you were able to flush because Lee had it packed to the brim. <laughs> Anyways, back to the story. If you can stomach listening to someone else for once. Um, nice and full. Okay, great. Um, she will legit ghost people. Da, 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 da. Um, I'm hungry. 
<laughs> both of you are so wrapped up in yourself right now and you're actually not working your program. I'm just going to call it out. And you need to listen to this girl. Took the time to write this right, in. But you are right. And you guys are being actually disrespectful now. And you're right. I know I'm not. Okay. Um, and you don't need to act like that. Thank you. <laughs> she will legit ghost people randomly and not to reply back to a text and then let her anxiety build up. Uh, she's done it a few times to, uh, to her close friends this past year and it's ended up causing her to lose one of them. She is not mentally doing okay. And she said ghosting and checking out and not texting slash being in contact with people for like weeks on end and going on hiatus because she feels as though it, it all gets to be too much. is just another part of her anxiety slash mental illness. Well, she needs some pills and says that this is why it's hard for her to continue friends or being friends while also having anxiety. Anyways, we got into a little argument on New Year's and I decided not to continue a dead end argument. I didn't text her for a few days to let things cool off. We've also had miscommunications um, this past couple of months. So I felt like us arguing back and forth over text would not be productive. After a couple of days passed, I texted her offering to meet up so we could talk um, and she still hasn't replied. I know her anxiety is building up as days go by that she chooses to not text back, but she still does it. LOL, LOL. I'm not going to press her on it now. Uh, I'm not going to press her on it now. I know, uh, I'm sure she knows. Why is this an acid trip? <laughs> not me yelling at you guys to pay attention that I can't even read. Um, I'm not going to press her on it now. I'm sure she will text back soon, but she's known for doing this. Oh, and I forgot I'm actually avoiding going to the dentist. It's been like years and I'm scared and I don't have health insurance. LOL, LOL. Okay, literally go to the fucking dentist. If that's what the easiest thing to tackle first. Get $150, maybe $160. Go to a fucking dentist. You're going to be fine. And also, if you don't get your teeth checked out, it's really bad because gum disease can lead to heart failure. And like brain disease. Yeah, it's really fucked up how, and Lee, you better start flossing because that's another thing you're avoiding. But here's the thing. <laughs> Where's the lie? Your teeth are fine. But are they flossed? They're not flossed. Okay. And that's what it is. And that's what it isn't. Are you flossing? I do floss. Yeah, she does Shut floss. Up, you're lying. No, Hunky does floss. Do you ever smell my breath? <laughs> do you ever smell mine? Yeah. yeah. No, come on. Lee. You guys are lying. We can Lee? talk about it off the podcast. Yeah, we can talk about it off the podcast. <laughs> Fuck you. It's no, Lee, we love you so much. We love you so Lee, much. You do need a floss because sometimes but I can we, really Lee, we, we gotta get. It's to... not even true. It is true. Lee. And this is honestly true. And Lee, I'm not this even is something real you. and this is something true. And you can tell you because floss. my voice has gotten Don't soft. Don't start this. This is so fucked up. Why? Well, that's why we'll talk about it off the podcast. Okay, we'll talk about it off the podcast. We'll talk about it off the podcast. Now starting, now people are going to think that I have fucking bad breath. No, no, no. Well, it's not bad. It's not true. Sometimes you have to shame people into making change. It's not even true. Hey, I slapped a guy true. outside of a Jack in the Box. I had to make change. It is true. And you got to just... Okay, so go on. <laughs> I just think that it's important we'll for... We'll be back. I think it's just important for everyone to floss and go to the That's dentist. such bullshit. This is such bullshit. This is not okay. This is this is where I'm drawing the line because it's not even true. What? I don't, you can talk about how I shit fucking your hand. I make you. Sh I we walk in the door and I make What's you kneel here? down. What's and going I on shit here? In both your hands and splatter all over your what fucking face. But do not tell people that I have bad breath. It's so obnoxious. Are you okay? No. Whoa, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> this, is, this is quickly turned into the worst day of my life. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> But you do need to floss. Anyway, okay, keep going. <laughs> like a water pick would, would be good to start with. It's a little ton scraper. Um, you can use your toothbrush. <laughs> Peppermint oil. <laughs> About your friend, it's really hard to have patience. <laughs> it's also hard to tell people that their breath smells like shit. <laughs> My breath doesn't smell like shit. Yes, it does. <laughs> no, because if it was true, I you wouldn't be does. telling me this way. If it was actually true, you wouldn't be telling me this way. <laughs> we didn't mean for it to come out this way. 
I'm, I'm fucked up. I'm fucked up and fucked off. You guys, let's recenter. Let's recenter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We are so sorry to find out this way. We we love you so much. <coughs> I love you so much, Lee. <laughs> Again, I'm so grateful for you. And I seriously would kill myself if you killed yourself. But that's how much I love you. But you got to floss. All right. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> now she's leaking formaldehyde or whatever. I know. I have formaldehyde coming out of my eyes. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, okay. Get back to it. <clears throat> it's the worst episode we've ever had. <laughs> Not even just the worst episode. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to any of us. Oh, um, fuck. fuck. Okay. Are we good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm sorry that you're avoiding, that your friend's avoiding you and you're vo- avoiding your friend. Don't avoid those teeth. And <laughs> let's, just, let's just move on. Let's just keep it rocking. So that's a very real thing. The, um, the one needing the floss is very real, but also the very real thing is um, avoiding <laughs> people having so much anxiety that they avoid <laughs> fucking <laughs> texting back. When my ex boyfriend died, I Sorry. so deeply, <laughs> I so deeply avoided. Like his mom would, you know, like contact me and like want to talk, and I to hook up, to hook up. She wanted to hook up, and she was like, "Finally, like, it's finally, my too... son is my son's like, dead. Finally, I can we fuck can you. be together. Yeah, finally, <laughs> we can be together." And I avoided her for. I have, I and I feel terrible about this, but I like she reached out to me for so long, and I just stopped responding to her because I. It like too much time would go by, and then I felt awkward, and I like didn't want to respond to her. She would be, you like, ever reach out to her now? Just I, be like, "Hey, I, I hope I you're would." Doing- it's been years, but for a couple of months, for a long time, she would just reach out to me and be like, hey, like, hope Aww. you're well. And I just, like, would freeze when she would text me. And um, I felt terrible. I had mm. never responded to her. And it haunted me for a long time because I just, like, I let it go for too long. Then the anxiety built up. I didn't know what to say. And then she was, you know, it was just terribly sad. She'd be like, I hope that you still think of Philip. And I was just like, I don't, <sighs> I didn't know what to say to that. Yeah. So I just, like, avoided her and. She would write me and be like, hey, I hope you're still out there. What happened to you? You don't respond to me. And I would just be like, uh, and then it just built and built and built. And Yeah. Were you like, play it cool? Yeah. Like, like come up. on. Yeah. Play hard to get. Come on. Let some time pass. He just died. You know, well, it's been years No, now. that's so fucking sad. Wait, when did this happen again? It happened. God, fuck. When did he die? Um... Eight years ago, right before I started stand-up. So about eight years ago. Damn. He's almost been dead for 10 years. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Okay, you should, maybe, you should, I mean, yeah, but then, but see, then I get in my head because I'm like, oh, well, like, if you reached out to her, would it be digging up the power? I don't know. I think she would like to hear from I'll, you. I'll, I'll talk to my sponsor about it. It's going to be something that, like, comes up in my program. Yeah. For sure. Like a men's? Maybe. Just, Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll see. Um, it's that's not honk having some demons. Yeah, I have some demons. I'm scared to the loot, dude. Dude, dude. I, I have some <clears> demons <throat> that I need to address in, as far as, like, not responding to people. I have um, some shit with my aunt that I also need to address. Just, like, it's been years, but I remember she had cancer, and I just, she's alive, she's fine, I was just talking to her. But, like, I never acknowledged the fact that she was really sick, mm. and I, like, never really checked up on her, and I feel really bad about that because I, I freeze up when people are really going through something, I do not know how to like be there. Be there. Yeah. I'm like afraid of saying something wrong. And, of co- and then I make it about myself because I'm so afraid that I'm going to like offend them. So that's, you know, then I'm completely in self and then I just don't respond. So it's just your friend is in self and she's probably should take some gabapentin. Get your friend some GABA. And then also, you know what? Get we should do floss. a GABA giveaway. GABA giveaway. So. I've got a lot of extra GABA. Yeah. I don't take it. All right. I've taken her GABA before. Now, this is a great. Per- are we done? Because I've got a perfect segue. Yeah. Avoiding the dentist. <laughs> such a run, bitch. It's so interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as much as I wanted to submit a funny story <clears throat> for one of the wacky prompts, I was excited to open up to one of these ones. Writing to y'all after getting back from a tooth, getting a tooth extracted picture below reflecting on my previous negligence this is honestly perfect it's giving dentist um one thing i've learned as an adult is a dire consequences of procrastinating back in high school this is very good this is Mm -hmm. a good lesson back in high school it was cool to procrastinate because then you could brag about accomplishing something in crunch time which is so fucking true 
What are you laughing about? I fucking hate you both. Lee, come on now. Continue with the story. Lee, I don't procrastination th- is bad. Procrastination I've got I've got nothing but nice things to say right now. So I know, I Lee, I have nothing but nice things to say about you. Yeah, okay. Oral B has great floss <laughs> unrelated to any of this. I can tell my mouth tastes like shit right now and it is Honestly, stressing me mine out. does too. Um, yeah. <laughs> do you ever smell my breath? No. Well, I want smell, you to be honest ever, if you do. Do you ever smell mine? No. I do smell yours sometimes. I smell yours all the time. Do you actually? Mm-hmm. Like for real? Dead ass? Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. Wait, why don't you ever tell me? Well, because yeah, we're just in our apartment. Whoa. Like, will you tell me next time you smell it? Yeah. Can you I, tell me? Yeah. Okay. Because I need to know. Uh, even if we're just in the apartment? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, is it bad? A little stinky. Fuck. How's that feel? Well, yeah. Well, How's I need to know. Well, but feels good. I need to know. But, I don't want to walk around with fucking doo breath. Do you see this? Do, like, but do I? Is it real? Yes. Lee. No. Lee, it's a, it's a, it's kind of real. It's kind of real. Stop. I swear. Really? Yeah. yeah. All right. We need to know. We need to know if we have bad breath because it's I. My worst fear is going on a date and like breathing on the guy and him being like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's why so I always have mints because I'm like so self conscious. Yeah, I always have gum. Yeah, me too. But well, it looks like all three of us need to get some more. Shit. It looks like we fuck. All gotta get, we all gotta brush up on the uh, oral hygiene. Yeah. Anyway. So okay. procrastinating is not good. <laughs> um, it sure isn't. It was this cool to procrastinate really because then you could brag about accomplishing something in crunch time. Mm-hmm. I've always been a thrives under pressure person, so this tracks. Um, and it is funny as you get into adulthood, you're like, it's not that cool to live in crunch time. We should just mm-hmm. do things when we need to do things. I've had a bad tooth for well over a year. Never caused me any pain, just the annoyance of cleaning it all the time. So I kept putting it off for more pressing matters. I kept avoiding it because uh, as you learn as an adult, dentists are the biggest crooks of the medical field. They know how valuable teeth are and will fuck you over financially knowing how much you need your teeth. Dental should be free. I agree. Yeah. Um, so I didn't go since I didn't have insurance and was worried about how much it would cost to fix the shame I'd received from the other issues in my mouth or accidentally giving permission for something to end up with crippling debt. Fast forward, God, debt, debt does turn into a ball of things that you avoid. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm avoiding paying the IRS. (laughs) I'm avoid. Oh, you know what? Let me amend, because remember I said it, I wasn't really avoiding too much. I, I think it's just because I wasn't thinking of something. Yeah. I haven't done my 2020 taxes or my 2021 taxes. Those are big things that, yeah. I have a lot of avoidance when it comes to money. There's a lot of things that I'm avoiding paying yeah. off. Yeah. I'm in a lot of d- You know what? Debt. Yeah. So I'm, avo- okay. Yes. Yeah. And seconding that. Yeah. 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 I have a lot of avoidance when it comes to financial stuff. It sucks. It It's really painful, actually. <laughs> Hmm. All right. Or accidentally. Get, okay. So I didn't go. I didn't have insurance, blah, blah, blah. Issues in my mouth or accidentally giving permission for something to end up with crippling debt. Fast forward to the last week where there where a piece of my tooth broke, making the hole bigger and infecting my gums Whew. was terrible pain. And then, of course, the extraction took less than an hour. Pain immediately gone. Getting it extracted was cheap for now, but a full replacement later is going to be a ton. But also part of being an adult is recognizing what is and isn't in your control. Okay, Mr. Smart. Mm -hmm. When you're young, you can procrastinate with minimal consequences, like a bad grade, versus procrastinating as an adult can cost you big time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I love how much self-awareness our listeners have. Yeah. I mean, I learn learn from, like, you guys, you know? You guys write things in, and it makes me think. So thank you. (laughs) Why are you laughing? So I do. What's funny? It's just funny. I learn things. I, and I'm sure you do. I think it's good. I learn things from our listeners. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, are you laughing because you don't? No, I'm laughing at you. It's mm. good. <laughs> it was, I liked the way that you said it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and I can't take you seriously with these fucking glasses. You look like you're coming from a fucking PTA meeting. My fucking. <laughs> you're, I learned things. My fucking, and then you have the glasses on. It's just, it's a lot. It's it was, my, it was a funny thing. It was vulnerable and it was sweet. My, it's my fucking formaldehyde eye. Okay. Um, so that's costs you big time. So that's one issue partially taken care of. And the relief of not thinking about it makes me want to come. And you should. <laughs> I'll deal with my issues and with my car issues another time. But for now, I'll enjoy this catharsis. I'm sure I'm not the only one who avoids the dentist like the plague out of financial fear. So it was nice to get it off my chest. Love y'all. P.S. We need shirts made of we need shirts made of Gabby's happy hands gesture. It's my favorite thing and half the reason I watch on YouTube. Oh, the this. So funny. And I get excited and my mom told me to stop doing that when I was little because she said it made me look retarded. Oh my God. 
Anyway, here's his tooth. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's it a looks, fun it tooth. looks like a fucking I'm abortion. Happy that, I'm happy that's that's out. And it looks like an abortion, and I'm glad that that's out of you. I'm body. so happy that's out of you. Yeah. Obsessed. No, that was very fucking well said. Very self-aware. Debt. And, 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 like, I'm actually surprised at how much dentist shit is coming up. Interesting. All right. Just, Last yeah. one. I am avoiding the dentist, too. I need to go. I need to get some shit off my teeth. I need to get some of these jewels taken off. Why? Because one of them fell out. Now there's just, like, Glue. shitty residue sitting there. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Wait, I have a really short one, too. You can read because it's good. Okay. Then last two. Okay, the attitude is... Just letting you know the time. Palpable. Okay. <laughs> mm. Hi, Hunks and Lee. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. Mm. We, I am were. we were. We were at the beginning of this cursed and fucked up episode. We and now it's back to your regularly scheduled programming. Okay. I am currently <laughs> avoiding a situation with my ex situationship slash best friend slash roommate. How very lesbian of me. Okay. It's giving chaotic. I'm obsessed. Her and I started off as just friends. Then we both admitted to having feelings for each other and started making out, going on dates, flirting all the time. And eventually we had sex. Pretty much the very next day after fucking each other, she, uh, she started acting very distant. No more good morning texts and started tensing up whenever we would hang out. And I and, uh, and I would touch her. Okay, literally don't touch her ever again. Um, such as this one incident where she was driving and I put my hand on her thigh and she just kept staring down at it quietly until I got the memo and kept it to myself. No. How long did it take for you to get the memo? Because one glance down, I would have been whoop right back. Okay. So embarrassing. And that's why I'm so afraid to touch people. I, they have to touch me first. Okay. And that's on something else. Um, Anyways, I tried to brush off this change of pace because she's my best friend and I figured that I was overthinking things. A little background on this girl. She exclusively pursues... Uh, polygamous relationships with uh, and well, polygamist hyper relationships. Yes, Polyg it, she's a polygamist. That's what it says. Polyamorous. She, I think that's what she meant, but she wrote polygamous. I'm screaming. I'm, I, I we should all be meant, avoiding polygamous relationships. I think she meant poly. I, think I know. I think so too. too. But I wanted to keep her okay. <laughs> Polyamory. Hmm. Okay, and that's on. Words mean things, so we got to choose the and, right and one. And that's on okay. being a polygamist. <laughs> and that's on polygamy. And that's on, and look that's it up, on Mormonism. Sweetie. And that's on stay woke. Um, relationships. And we'll hyperfixate on a girl for a few weeks or a few months. And then suddenly, and that's on polyamory. Um, and then suddenly she loses all interest. Uh, so I, uh, I, okay. So I also considered this and began to accept that there might be some underlying issues and her sudden cold and short behavior with me might not have any, uh, anything to do with me and more to do with her own issues with sex and love. When was the last time you went to the dentist? And then we'll figure out. Uh, well, after moving in with her, she began to say things to me and act in ways that made me feel like she doesn't think about how she may be hurting me. She started seeing this girl, Grace, okay, and would go on and on to me about how beautiful Grace is, how Grace is the best kisser out of all the girls she's ever kissed. Oh, that's torturous. Wow, this girl's kind of a nasty bitch. Um, and how obsessed she is with Grace. Okay. Well, we got it. We got it. We got it. You should go fuck Grace. Grace has a fucking golden pussy. We got it. Yeah, literally. Golden pussy. Um, I tried so hard to be happy for her, but it was really hurtful to hear about the other girl so quickly after her and I's situation ship suddenly ended. Lo and behold, a couple weeks later, she called it with Grace and started hanging out with this new girl, Sarah. Yeah, okay. Sarah and her were just friends, but she would talk about how gorgeous Sarah is all the time. Oh my God. And how she had a crush on her. One night, she said something like, I wonder if I have a chance with Sarah. And I said, even if you did end up dating her, you would be obsessed for a few weeks and then one day just ditch her. To which she responded, no, Sarah is so beautiful. I could never ditch her. And that made me feel like I'm not beautiful enough for her because she Aww. lost interest romantically and sexually um, with me so fast. I brought it up one time and she said, sorry, I thought you were pretty detached from our situation. So I didn't think you would be bothered by it. You got to get this girl out of your life. She sounds like a fucking cunt. Um, now... And we could like, you know, be like really deep and emotional, but I'm trying to get through the story. So here we go. Yeah. Uh, now she is seeing this new girl, Peyton. Triggered. It's giving and somebody that we know. <clears throat> literally. You know it, it it, I knew exactly. It's giving somebody that we know. It's giving, this person is exactly like someone we know. This. Miss female. Miss female. Miss. It's, and you, it's if, giving if, if you ever hear girl. this, you're a fucking. Ripper. You're a fucking it's a woman, bitch. But she, it's giving her. Okay, you're go a on. fucking bitch. Okay. Okay, don't because now we're both triggered. Okay, yeah. anyway, and that's on Peyton. Okay, um, and again, she just won't shut up about her, and she's always with her, which I usually hundred percent support, but I just can't help but feel hurt again. Yeah, honey, you feel fucking hurt because this girl's dragging you, dragging your heart through the fucking mud. Mm -hmm. Um, I especially felt hurt yesterday, Sunday, when my best friend and I had made plans to get lunch and see a movie together. She wasn't home, so I texted her at ten a.m. Are you still down to hang today? And at three p.m., she finally got back to me and said, "Sorry, I was with Peyton, bro." She was eating Peyton's muff. That's what she was doing. So go take yourself to the movies and get the fuck out of here. Okay. Um, we are both home now and I am avoiding her 
her because I am so upset. She knows that it hurts me to see her with another girl, yet she continues to rub it in my face and is now blowing me off to spend time with these girls instead of with me. I will try to bring it up to her soon as I am moving out on Wednesday. Oh, thank fuck. On Wednesday as she wants to find someone to take over her lease and I don't want to be in the way. I'm not sure what I am um, seeking in writing this in. However, it does feel a little cathartic to type it all out. I'm Good. happy you wrote it in. Me Fuck too. It, This girl is not your friend, sweetie. Um, she thank just you. She has some fucking issues. She has some fucking issues. She can't she's be. She's not ready to address. She's not. She's not ready to address it. She's talk about being wrapped up in self. Your friend is all wrapped up in self. Your friend's giving big essay sex addicts, uh, sex love addicts, just like the person that we know. Just like the person we know. We're just like the person we know. Um, and that's on Chaotic Lesbians. Um, okay, but... Not to take inventory, but that's what it's giving. And uh, here's the thing. I already took the inventory and I already gave it back and that's on that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, cathartic to type it all out. Thank you for making me laugh and for making me feel less like a fuck up as I navigate my 20s. Okay, go off. I love all three of you and hopefully I'll get to see a live show someday. And then she said her name, but I won't say it. But honestly, I think you're the person that writes it on Twitter and you're really cute. Your friend's gotta go. And I'm sorry you're going through that. that I'm really sorry tough. that you're going through that. No, you're not in the wrong. Your friend is being crazed. But I'm happy that you're moving out. I think that's gonna provide a lot of peace. Mm-hmm. And I think that's great. It has nothing to do with you. Remember that. Mm-hmm. Um, just a reminder, all of you, go read The Four Agreements by whatever his fucking name is. Yes! Miguel, whatever the fuck. Okay, anyway. Yeah. Short one, sweet. Avoiding, uh, the name of this email is Avoiding Filthy Dumpster Possum Boys in Debt. Relatable and relatable. I've been avoiding my credit card debt because I keep swiping the card and saying I will find a rich husband soon. (laughs) Hey, you know what? Manifest. Yeah. You put out there what you want. I do live within 30 minutes of Bill Gates' house. Okay. Okay. You have to look up where that is. You have good tits. (laughs) You're so, you're just, you're done. I think rich men will like me. If I became mute. Okay. If I became mute. That's the thing. Rich men don't like the bitches with a loud attitude. They don't. The men don't like when women have a lot to say. So you know what? If you want to be rich, if you want to re- marry a rich man, submissive, mute. You got to just shut the fuck up. And they kind of like to control. So mm-hmm. speaking of Bill Gates, I'm also avoiding the fact that I've been dating nothing but homeless possum men with a dollar to their names for the last 10 years. So it sounds like you've been dating me. Pray for me, please. I am praying for you, girl. Yeah, we are praying for you. And that's on that. Um, we have a couple stories left, but we got to go. What's wrong with possum men? Possum men aren't the broke ones. It's giving fucking triggered. If Lee gets anywhere triggered, I really do feel like Lee we're going to get entire, shot at. Lee has spent this entire episode with his fists fucking clenched. <laughs> yeah. Just like, I fucking hate these. I can't. I hate these whores. I hate these fucking whores. Yeah. And that's really He's going to go into his room after this. He's going to furiously jack off. I can tell. Here's um, the thing. Is that done? Yeah, we're done. Here's the thing. This is a teeny tiny quick one and then we're done. Meet us, my, see us on Patreon. We have some more fun things to talk about. And that we do. My story is uh, my story on avoidance is about my in-laws. Nobody in that family talks. I tried, but I got my head bitten off. They brush everything under the rug. I hate it. I simply asked how my brother-in-law and his girlfriend, who I thought was my friend, but I guess not, found out I was pregnant. Wouldn't answer mm-hmm. texts or phone calls. When we had to be at the mother-in-law and father-in-law's house in person, he cussed his mom and me out saying okay. F you and just refused to simply answer how he knew I was pregnant. Good. Then they drove off, honestly, healthy and fun. Then they drove off and didn't stay for the dad's B-Day cookout. Boring. More food for you. It was intense. Well, then they immediately got engaged, married, and had a baby right uh, right away after on and off dating for several years. Okay, fine. Uh, so we both had babies in the same year, and we haven't talked for almost two years. Wow. How pathetic that kids are involved and none of us speak, but we all live in the same town. The parents don't even bring it up or try and patch things up. It is beyond awkward and confusing, especially since kids are involved who who are cousins, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, so now they can't even hook up if you guys aren't talking. So it fix that. Yeah. P.S. He's always been a jerk. His mom and now wife are big enablers. He has a Coke problem. He needs a good punch in the face. But of course, everyone pretends nothing ever happened. And you, my sweet angel. Communication is key. You know what you need. And that's al People are so fucking, we're all so destructive. We're all so fucking avoidant. None of us want to communicate about anything. All this resentment builds up. All this fear, all this hurt. And yeah. anyways, if you're avoiding something, face it. Because you'll feel a lot better once you do. Because here's the thing. You either avoid it long enough to where you lose control and it's just going to come and like land in your lap or you get ahead of it and... And um, yeah, and that's true. So everybody, note to sell, journal, stop avoiding things. And um, please, for God's sake... Floss your teeth. 
Please forget. And on that note, join, join us Patreon. on Patreon where it's going to be cute, cute, cute over there. We do an extra episode every fucking week. You guys know it. You guys love to see it. You guys can call us in. You guys can show us your tits. You guys can show us your teeth. Get them cleaned. <laughs> and it's patreon.com slash tea time for 2069. <laughs> share a friend. Submit your stories. We yeah, love share you. Share a friend. Share a friend. Share a friend. Yeah, share, share a friend. A friend. <laughs> Send us fucking your everything that's fucked up about you. We love to see it. What do you keep pointing at, Lee? Subscribe where you listen and follow us on Instagram. Yeah. There we go. So, and that's on Gabby. And share a friend. And, and share, share a friend. friend. You guys, if you like this podcast, share a friend. Fuck it. All right. XOXO. Bye. XO, bye.